When we look out into the universe, it feels as though everything is rushing away from us. Galaxies stretch outward in every direction, as if the cosmos itself was launched by a tremendous impulse we call the Big Bang. But scientists don't tell the universe how it works, they listen. And right now, the universe is speaking in a quieter, more unsettling voice, hinting that reality may be far more intricate than the story we've been telling ourselves. This is exactly what the James Webb Space Telescope is forcing us to confront. In just a short time, Webb has delivered discoveries so unexpected that they're shaking the foundations of modern cosmology. It has revealed galaxies that seem far too massive, far too organized, far too mature for the early universe. It has shown us violent stellar nurseries where newborn stars carve vast jets through space, and even transformed our view of familiar worlds in our own solar system. This isn't just a new telescope, it's a new way of seeing, and what it's showing us may change how we understand the origin, age, and fate of the universe itself. One striking example comes much closer to home. When Webb turned its infrared eyes toward Uranus, it didn't just capture a prettier picture of a distant planet, it unveiled a world that looks almost alien compared to what we thought we knew. Rings glow with unexpected clarity, storms churn in the atmosphere, and seasonal changes appear far more dramatic than previously observed. Uranus, once thought of as quiet and unremarkable, suddenly looks dynamic and complex. It's a reminder that even nearby corners of the cosmos can surprise us when we look with new eyes. And if that's true for a planet in our own solar system, what does it mean for the deepest reaches of space? Far beyond Uranus, Webb has also pierced the darkness of star-forming regions like never before. In one extraordinary observation, it captured a Herbig Harrow object known as HH797, where twin jets from a newborn star blast through surrounding gas and dust. What looks like a serene cloud from afar is revealed as a violent, sculpted environment shaped by energy, motion, and time. These are the places where stars are born, where galaxies slowly assemble themselves, and they offer a crucial clue. Structure in the universe seems to emerge earlier, faster, and more efficiently than our models predict. That same theme keeps appearing with Webb peering deeper into cosmic history. With every new dataset, the telescope peels back another layer of the early universe and finds that it refuses to behave as expected. In one recent analysis, scientists examined nearly 30,000 early galaxies detected by Webb. These galaxies should have been small, chaotic, and primitive. Instead, many appeared surprisingly massive and well-organized. When researchers expanded the sample to include another 20,000 galaxies, the mystery only grew. The data stubbornly refused to line up with established theories of how galaxies form and evolve. Some scientists have begun to ask an almost unthinkable question. What if what we interpret as the expansion of the universe isn't telling the full story? What if part of what we're seeing is misleading, or even an illusion shaped by how we observe cosmic time and distance? That question became impossible to ignore with the discovery of a truly astonishing object. Deep Web observations revealed an enormous disk galaxy existing far earlier in cosmic history than anyone thought possible. Its light has been traveling for more than 12 billion years to reach us. Researchers gave it a fitting name, the Big Wheel. This galaxy already existed within the first 2 billion years after the Big Bang, when the universe was only about 15% of its current age. What makes the Big Wheel so disturbing to cosmologists is not just its age, but its maturity. Webb's detailed measurements show a galaxy comparable in size and rotational speed to the largest spiral galaxies we see today. It's nearly three times larger than other galaxies from the same era and ranks among the most massive objects ever observed so early in cosmic history. According to standard cosmology, galaxies at this stage should still be cosmic infants, messy, turbulent, and poorly defined. The Big Wheel is none of those things. It's organized, enormous, and shockingly grown up. And it isn't alone. 
Webb has uncovered several massive, well-formed galaxies from this ancient epoch, but the Big Wheel stands above them all, the largest early galaxy ever observed, a glaring exception to the rules we thought governed the young universe. As if that weren't enough, Webb has also intensified another crisis that's been brewing for years, one tied to the most mysterious force in cosmology, dark energy. Dark energy is the name scientists gave to whatever is causing the expansion of the universe to speed up. When it was discovered in 1998, it stunned astronomers. Instead of gravity slowing cosmic expansion after the Big Bang, the universe was accelerating. No known force could explain it. For decades, scientists assumed dark energy was constant, the same everywhere and every when. That assumption allowed them to estimate the age of the universe and reconstruct its entire history. But recent measurements, combined with Webb's observations of the early universe, suggest that this assumption may be wrong. Early hints that dark energy might be changing were once dismissed as statistical noise, but after years of additional data and careful analysis, that explanation is becoming harder to defend. According to Nobel Prize-winning astronomer Adam Rees, the universe's expansion rate seems to depend on how you measure it. Observations of the cosmic microwave background give one value. Measurements based on nearby galaxies give another. Predictions from the standard cosmological model give yet another. This mismatch is known as the Hubble tension, and it's one of the clearest signs that something fundamental may be missing from our understanding. If dark energy isn't constant, then the universe may not share a single cosmic clock. Different regions of space may have evolved at different rates. That idea has led some scientists to explore a radical alternative known as timescape cosmology. In this framework, the apparent acceleration of the universe isn't driven by dark energy at all. Instead, it emerges from differences in how time flows across the cosmos. In dense regions filled with galaxies and clusters, time would pass more slowly. In vast cosmic voids, nearly empty of matter, time would pass faster. Over billions of years, that difference adds up. An atomic clock drifting through a giant void could tick significantly faster than one embedded in a galaxy. The universe, in this view, doesn't have a single age. Its age depends on where you are. Because more time has passed in emptier regions, those regions have expanded more. So when we look across enormous voids, distant galaxies appear to be racing away from us faster, not because of some mysterious energy, but because the space between us has stretched unevenly. Over cosmic time, voids grow and come to dominate the structure of the universe, creating the powerful illusion of universal acceleration. In 2017, researchers tested this idea against real observations and found that it fit the data slightly better than the standard model. It remains controversial, but it highlights just how seriously scientists are questioning the foundations of cosmology. Then came yet another surprise. In a large web survey of early galaxies, researchers noticed something deeply unexpected. Many of these galaxies appear to rotate in the same direction. According to the Big Bang model, galaxy spins should be randomly oriented. This alignment hints at a level of order in the early universe that shouldn't exist. Some scientists have even speculated that the universe itself may have begun with an initial spin. That idea leads to one of the most radical possibilities of all that our universe may have formed inside a black hole. In the black hole universe hypothesis, the entire cosmos is the interior of a rotating black hole formed in another universe. It's a fringe idea, but one that's being taken more seriously as observations continue to defy expectations. From the turbulent birth of stars in hidden nebulae to the unexpected complexity of planets like Uranus, to galaxies that seem far too mature for their age, Webb is telling us a consistent story. The universe is not simpler than we thought. It's richer, stranger, and more subtle. And the deeper we look, 
the more it challenges us to rethink our most basic assumptions. If you found this journey through the latest cosmic discoveries fascinating, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And if you'd like to support our work and help us keep exploring the universe together, you can do so through Super Thanks. Thank you for watching, and thank you for listening to what the universe is trying to tell us.